I was watching a video talking about this couple who were living in this house that their son was paying for. And hard times fell upon the son and he could no longer afford this house. So he sold the house. In the comments section, there were all type of people who were saying that maybe they should create some creative financing to help the old couple out. Maybe they should do this. And I saw person after person recommending that someone else help these people out. Not once did I say, hey, where can I send these people money? Where can I help these people out? A good friend of mine died and his brother put up a GoFundMe page. I contribute 2,500 bucks to the GoFundMe page. The majority of people ignored it because here's the thing. No one cares that you're broke. No one cares that you can't pay your bills. No one cares that you're unable to keep your lifestyle going. No one cares. And this is where you need to have a mind shift, mindset shift because I'm seeing a lot of these videos on TikTok and stuff there where people are talking about, I can't afford, it's so stressful living in America. No one cares. If you wanna start a business, you wanna set up a holding company, an operating company, you wanna get yourself some business credit, you wanna learn how to run a business, you wanna start your first online business, if you wanna do that, and congratulations to you for being a person that wants more out of life, for being that person that's ready to sit down, do the work, so your future can be brighter. I got some for you. Go below and enter into the Corporate Citizen Playbook, where we teach you all of that, plus a lot more. Because you are not a normal, regular person. You want more out of life. You wanna do more, you wanna be more, you wanna have more and congratulations to you. So this link is below, go ahead and check out this video and then go ahead and enroll in the Corporate Citizen Playbook where I teach you some things that you cannot Google. Can't Google it, can't Google it at all. Because I've seen countless, countless videos of these people who are talking about, I can't pay my bills, I can't pay my rent and I never see anyone not one time in the comments section. Hey, how can I help these people out? Where could I send some money? Not once, not once, because no one cares. Years and years ago, when I was in a financially dangerous situation where I was living in a boarding house, that was a stark reality that descended upon me, that no one cared that I couldn't have money to afford my own place to live. No one cared that I didn't have a car. No one gave a damn that I was struggling financially. And this is one of the things that I see with all of these videos where people are expressing how they're struggling, how hard it is to make money. No one cares. No one's going, back in the day, there was a television show by the name of Good Time. And when people fell upon hard times, they would throw something called a rent party. We would throw a rent party and they would charge for people to attend because they cared. They wanted to help out their friends. They wanted to be there. That ain't going on today. So just like I had to learn that no one cared and I had to go ahead and have a mindset shift where I had to go ahead and to actually open up my mind and really, really begin to care more about my situation because at one point, I was a complete another bum. And I was just a very sad, sad person because I was wishing and hoping that other people cared and would help me out. And like I said, I discovered no one cared. No one gave a damn. And this is when I developed a mind shift, mindset shift that it was all upon me and that I had to do things very differently and I had to come up with a plan to solve my own problem. And this is the mindset shift, the mindset shift that you need to go ahead and embrace because 
like I said, if you don't believe me, go ahead on YouTube, TikTok, and look at the views, and you will see comment after comment, but no one's saying, where can I send money? Where can I help these people? Because here's the thing. There's, let's say there's a store that's going out of business, and then they have these major, major sales because the owner of the store has run into financial difficulty. Is there anyone putting up a GoFundMe page for the owner of the store? No, people are running in there and getting these good and juicy deals because they don't care about the owner. Let me go ahead and tell you about the marketplace. The marketplace is me, you, everyone else. We're all in the marketplace. We're consumers that go out and purchase things. And we don't care if the factory's having problems. We don't care if the owner has problems getting financing. All we want is our stuff with the least amount of problems. That's all we care about. And that's the reality. Because the marketplace doesn't care if you're struggling, doesn't care if you're going through it, it doesn't care. And I'm looking at all of these people who are making all these videos that I am suffering so much financially, I am struggling. Part of that problem is they want to vent, they want to share, they want to commiserate, but they're not looking for a solution to their problems. And since they're not looking for a solution to their problems, what happens? The whining, the complaining, the crying, it continues and continues and continues. We have a whole group of people out there who want to whine and complain about being broke versus figuring out a way to stop being broke. There is no effort, there is no push, there is no deep consideration on what can I do to stop being broke? What can I do to change my financial situation? The number of people who are making these, I am too broke to afford to live in America, they're, they, once again, back in the day, there was this conversation uh, with relationships where the woman was like, I just wanna be heard. Like she would go to her husband or boyfriend and say, hey, I, I got this problem. And the guy would instantly try to start, start solving it. And the woman got pissed off. She didn't want a solution to her problems. She wanted to be heard. And this is the same situation that all of these people who are crying on TikTok and YouTube, they just want to be heard. They don't want a solution to their problems. So. If you don't wanna be like those people, crying, bemoaning the fact that they're broke, and if you wanna go ahead and go ahead and get yourself together and to go ahead and start building a profitable future, go below and check out the Corporate Citizen Playbook. Now, once again, I'm gonna be 100% straight up to you. If you're broke, you have no money, this isn't a program for you because it's gonna take cash infusion for you to make your future better and brighter. This is what's gonna be part of the deal. This is what's gonna be part of the things that you need to do to have a successful future. So if you're not a whiner, you're not a person that wants to put up one of these, I'm gonna call them complaint videos. You know, and well, last time you filed a complaint, where did it go? It didn't really go too far because there are not a lot of people at the complaint department. So. If you want a brighter, different future, if you want to have cash to buy the house that you want to live in, cash to drive the car that you want to have, cash to go on vacation, and more importantly, cash to send your kids to private school, go below, check out the Corporate Citizen Playbook. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys are getting in on the personal capital tip where we go out and make the money that we need to make so we can live the lives that we wanna live because we're not complainers, we're not whiners, we're not just sitting here hoping that some invisible force from nature will come and save us. That's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next one.